Hello friends, welcome to CSS video tutorial series. From the past few video tutorials, we are trying to understand CSS box model and its properties. In the previous video tutorial, we discussed CSS properties with respect to content area. We discussed CSS width property, CSS height property, CSS overflow property, CSS overflow x property and CSS overflow y property. While learning CSS box model, we understood that area around the content area is known as the padding area. CSS padding property is used to clear the space around the content area. Padding is the distance between the content and the border or edge of a HTML element, right? In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss CSS properties with respect to the padding area. And also I told that we can control different padding components independently. We can control padding top, padding right, padding bottom, padding left independently friends. The first padding property we are going to discuss is CSS padding top property. Padding top property is used to specify the amount of area to be cleared above the content area of an HTML element. Various values that we can assign to padding top property are we can use the fixed length unit like pixel, we can use a responsive unit like percentage. Let me go to the notepad. You can see I have already opened the default.html. It has the basic HTML document structure code written. Title is set to CSS properties demo. I have already opened default.html in the Chrome. Title is set to CSS properties demo. I go to the notepad. In the body section, I am going to create one div element. Closing div. Within that, I put some content. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that the content got displayed. Next, what I do, I apply some styling. I go to the notepad. In the head section, I say opening style tag. Type equal to text or CSS. I say closing style tag. Within that, I tell to the browser, locate any div in this page. Apply background color of cyan semicolon. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that the background color is applied to div element. And also you can observe the content is stick to the edge or border of the div element. If we want, we can clear the space around the content area. To do that, we are going to take help of CSS padding properties. The first CSS padding property we are going to use is padding top colon 10 px semicolon. I'm using the fixed unit pixel file save go to browser and refresh. You can see that padding top is 10 pixel. You can see 10 pixel space is cleared above the content area. The next CSS property is padding right property. Padding right property is used to specify the amount of area to be cleared on the right hand side of the content area of an HTML element. Various values that we can assign are length and responsive unit like percentage. Length we can use fixed length like pixels. Let me go to the notepad. Here I say padding right of 10px semicolon file save go to browser and refresh. You can see that on the right hand side 10 pixel padding is added. So padding right is 10 pixel. It has cleared right hand side little bit space of the content area, right? Next CSS padding property we are going to discuss is padding bottom property. Padding bottom property is used to specify the amount of area to be cleared below the content area of an HTML element. Various values that we can assign are fixed length unit like pixel we can use, responsive unit like percentage we can use. Let's see the demonstration. I go to the notepad here I say padding bottom of 10px semicolon. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that below the content area 10 pixel area is cleared by using the padding bottom. The next CSS property we are going to discuss is padding left property. Padding left property is used to specify the amount of area to be cleared on the left hand side of the content area of a HTML element. Various values that we can assign are fixed length unit like pixel we can use or 
percentage a responsive unit let me go to the notepad here i say padding left of 10 px semicolon file save go to browser and refresh you can see that padding left is added on the left hand side of the content area 10 pixel area is cleared by padding left property we also have a shorthand notation for padding properties that is css padding property css padding property is used to specify the amount of area to be cleared around the content area of an html element various values that we can assign are we can assign space separated list of values we can assign a single value we can assign two values we can assign space separated three values and space separated four values to css padding property by default remember that padding will be transparent friends let's see some examples you can see padding colon 10 pixel what this code does it is going to set padding top 10 pixel padding right 10 pixel padding bottom 10 pixel padding left 10 pixel if you observe carefully the code that we have written has padding top padding right padding bottom padding left all are 10 pixel instead of writing four times i can simply say here padding of 10 px semicolon that does the same thing file save go to browser and refresh you can see there is no change i go back here i say 20 pixel file save go to browser and refresh you can see that padding top 20 pixel padding right 20 pixel padding bottom 20 pixel padding left 20 pixel similarly we can assign two values padding colon 10 px space 20 px semicolon what this code does the first value is going to set padding top and padding bottom first value is dedicated for top and bottom padding top is going to be 10 pixel padding bottom is going to be 10 pixel the second value is dedicated for padding right and padding left so padding right is going to be 20 pixel padding left is going to be 20 pixel let me go to the notepad here i say 10 px space 20 px padding top padding bottom is going to be 10 pixel padding right and padding left is going to be 20 pixel file save go to browser and refresh you can see that padding top and padding bottom are 10 pixel 10 pixel padding right and padding left are having 20 pixel 20 pixel we can also assign three values padding colon 10 pixel space 20 pixel space 10 pixel semicolon what this code does the first value is going to set the padding top 10 pixel the second value is dedicated for padding right and padding left so padding right is going to be 20 pixel padding left is going to be 20 pixel the third value is dedicated for padding bottom so padding bottom is going to be 10 pixel let me go to the notepad here we have 10 20 and 10 px file save go to browser and refresh you can see that there is no change padding top 10 pixel padding bottom 10 pixel padding right 20 pixel padding left 20 pixel we can give more to check whether the whether we are correct or not i say 50 pixel file save go to browser and refresh padding top 10 pixel padding right padding left 50 pixel padding bottom 10 pixel we can also assign four values so padding colon 10 px space 10 px space 10 px space 10 px semicolon what this code does the first value is dedicated for padding top second value is dedicated for padding right third value is dedicated for padding bottom fourth value is dedicated for padding left let's see the demonstration i go here i say 10 pixel 10 pixel 10 pixel 10 pixel file save go to browser and refresh you can see all four sides of the content area is cleared by 10 pixel we can independently control we can give here 20 pixel file save now the padding top is going to be 20 pixel refresh you can see padding top is 20 pixel i can say padding right 50 pixel file save go to browser and refresh padding right is 50 pixel you can say padding bottom is 20 pixel file save go to browser and refresh you can see padding bottom is 20 pixel similarly padding left 
is going to be 50 pixel. File, save, go to browser and refresh. On the left also we have 50 pixel. So padding CSS property is used to clear the area or space around the content area. Now this div element looks more appealing. If you use text align property, still more good appeal we can give. So I say here text dash align to justify semicolon. File, save, go to browser and refresh. That looks much more better, right? Hope you guys have understood various properties with respect to the padding area. So we discussed padding top property, padding right property, padding bottom property, padding left property and CSS padding shorthand property. For this tutorial, this much is enough friends. I suggest you people to try using the CSS padding properties and uh, experiment. For more benefits and be up to date, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.